Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to make your face into part of a golf course putting green. Before we begin, remember to hit that subscribe button at the lower right to let you know as soon as I upload new Photoshop tutorials. I provided a Photoshop template that you can download so you can follow along. Its link is in my video's description below or in my project files. It includes this image of a putting green as well as an image of golf course grass. Open a photo of someone's face that you'd like to use for this project. I downloaded this one from Shutterstock. The first step is to create a selection around our subject. There are many ways to do this and your choice should depend on the characteristics of your photo. I find that the quick selection tool does a fine job in most cases. Just drag it over your subject to select it. In this particular example, since the background is solid white, the magic wand tool is more efficient since it only requires one click on the background. Starting in version CC 2020, Adobe added an automatic way to select your subject. By clicking Select and Select in Mask, you'll now see a button that says Select Subject. Clicking it automatically analyzes your image and selects your subject. Pressing Q reverts the quick mask into a selection. There are a few more ways to select your subject, but whatever method you choose, we want to confine the selection to appear just around your subject's head and remove the selection around the neck and shoulders. To do this, I'll use the Quick Selection tool and press and hold Alt or Option as I drag the tool over the neck and shoulders to deselect those areas. Since we'll be simplifying the features of the head, we won't be refining the edges of the selection with Refine Edge or Select and Mask. Click the Layer Mask icon to make a layer mask of the selection. We'll make a new layer below it by control clicking or command clicking the new layer icon. We'll fill this empty layer with white, but before we do, check your foreground and background colors. If they aren't black and white respectively, press D on your keyboard. Since white is our background color, press Ctrl or Command plus Delete to fill the empty layer with a background color. We'll convert our visible image into a smart object so we can modify it non-destructively. To do this, shift click the top layer to make it active as well and click the icon at the upper right corner to open the flyout list. Click Convert to Smart Object. Go to Filter, Blur, and Gaussian Blur. Blur it 10 pixels. Go to Image, Adjustments, and Threshold. The threshold level is 128, which is its default amount. By dragging the slider to the left or right, you can make the shapes of the face thinner or thicker. If there are areas of the face that you'd like to make thinner or thicker while keeping the other areas as they are, no problem. Make a copy of the layer by pressing Ctrl or Command J. Double click threshold of the copy to open it. In this example, I'd like the shapes of the eyes to be thinner, so I'll drag the slider to the left. I'm not concerned about how the rest of the face looks, just the eyes. Alt-click or Option-click the layer mask icon to make an inverted layer mask next to the copy. This hides or masks out the entire copy of the face. Think of layer masks as stencils. Black hides the image while white reveals it. To reveal back areas of the copy, first invert your colors by pressing X on your keyboard so white is your foreground color. Open your pencil tool and pencil picker. Make sure the hardness is 100%. We'll adjust the pencil size in a moment. When I want to draw in hard edges, I prefer to use the pencil tool instead of the brush tool. It's true that you can make your brush have 100% hardness, but by nature, pencils have hard points while brushes are soft. To adjust the size of your pencil, make sure your caps lock key is off and press the left or right bracket key on your keyboard. Then, draw over the areas of the copy that you'd like to reveal back. Next, 
We'll make a composite snapshot of a visible image by pressing Alt Control Shift E on Windows or Option Command Shift E on a Mac. You can finesse any of the shapes if you'd like. For example, I'd like to finesse this area of the mustache, so I'll adjust the size of my pencil tool and draw over that area with black or white. Alt-click or Option-click the eyeball icon to hide all the other layers but this one. Open your Channels panel. If you don't see it, go to Window and Channels. Control-click or Command-click the RGB channel to make a selection of the face. Open back the Layers panel and press the Delete key on your keyboard to delete the background. Deselect it by pressing Control or Command D. To place the face onto the putting green template, press V to open your Move tool and drag it onto the tab of the template. Without releasing your mouse or pen, drag it down and release. Hide the grass texture so we can see the putting green under it. Open your Transform tool by pressing Ctrl or Command T. Drag the face into position. To resize it, go to a corner. If you're using a version earlier than CC 2019, press and hold Alt or Option plus Shift as you drag it in or out. If you're using CC 2019 or later, just press Alt or Option as you drag it. Once it's sized and positioned, press Enter or Return. Later, we'll be adjusting the perspective of the face to match the angle of the photo. Control click or Command click the head to make a selection of its shape. Hide the face and make the darker grass layer visible and active. Press Ctrl or Command J to cut and copy the selection of the grass in the shape of the face onto its own layer. Hide the grass layer and make the face layer active. We can delete this layer now since we have its shape with a darker grass texture in it. To delete it, we can either drag it to the trash or, in recent versions, just press the Delete key. Double-click the layer to open its layer style window. I'll drag it over so we can see some of the face. Click Bevel and Emboss. The style is Inner Bevel, the technique is Smooth, and the depth is 200%. The direction is Up, the size is 2 pixels, and the Soften is 4 pixels. The angle is 55 degrees, the altitude is 25 degrees, and the gloss contour is linear. The highlight mode is linear dodge, the color is white, and the opacity is 30%. The shadow mode is linear burn, the color is black, and the opacity is 10%. Click Drop Shadow. The blend mode is color burn, the color is black, and the opacity is 10%. Make sure Use Global Light is unchecked. Unchecking it ensures that this angle isn't going to change the angle and altitude of bevel and emboss. The angle is 35 degrees, the distance is 4 pixels, the spread is 0, and the size is 6 pixels. Next, We'll place the face in perspective. Go to Edit, Transform, and Perspective. Go to one of the bottom corners and drag it out. Then press Enter or Return. To resize it, open back your Transform tool, go to a corner, and drag it in or out. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching. <laughs>